Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, like and share with your friends. So I've got some seed mail today. I'm going to talk about that in the first part of the video and in the second part of the video I'm going to talk about plants and seed swap. So please stay tuned for the whole video if you are interested in looking at, you know, a potential plant or seed swap so here is the mail that's just arrived and it's come from jungle seeds uh, and i've had seeds off them before so um i wasn't expecting to get this um until the end of well it did say they weren't dispatching seeds until the 29th of september so I'm glad that these have come earlier than that and I'll just open the box and pull out what's in here. I've got my invoice here, put that down, bubble wrap and let's see what we've got. One. Two, three, and four. Right, so four packets of seeds there. Uh, they've all got the same picture on the front, so it doesn't tell you what they are, but on the back, I'll read them off. So I'll start off with this, and it is mountain papaya so it says carica pubescens mountain papaya tropical fruit so i'll just open that i think i've ordered two two of these um because i got very low germination when i ordered just one well i ordered two packets of mountain papaya previously um different varieties and i i only got one to survive if you haven't seen the video on my mountain papaya i do have a look at that because i've grown that from seed and it's actually flowering now and it's just a well almost a year old so yeah i've ordered two oh, let me just check okay progressions yeah so two of the same i've got two packets so hoping to get good germination um just open the packet so you can see what seeds look like so the seeds are not your typical black um, seeds that you see in a normal papaya. So if you get normal papaya, you'll see the seeds look like round black pepper. Um, these are not, these are not round, sort of like a, an oval shape and they're a light brown in colour. Um, and they're very similar to the um, oak leaf papaya. The oak leaf papaya I'm also growing and that I've got one plant sorry i've got two plants one's a few months old and one is two years old so i've got two varieties of papaya growing outside but i wanted backup plants and the reason being i'll tell you that in a minute so two packets of the mountain papaya and what else what have we got here so we've got anona Cherimola or Cherimoya is its its proper name. I'll put a picture up of what Anona Cherimola or Cherimoya looks like if you're not sure. And there are different varieties of Cherimoya. Um, this one or custard apple. This one is the smooth skin variety. And these are the seeds there. Quite large. So they're almost sort of flattish. And then like a brown colour. So that's Anona Cherimola or Cherimoya. So I've got one Cherimoya plant growing. I didn't grow it from seed. It was uh, a present, a gift my husband bought me from the internet. So I don't know what type this is. I did have my own Cherimoya plants, which were the... Um, the smooth skin type I've grown from three 
grown from seeds I should say. I had two plants three years old and unfortunately I lost them this year just after repotting them. I don't know why but they just they just died so this is to replace them. So that's the Cherimoya and then I've got Anona Squamosa which is another custard apple it says custard apple on there and there is a difference this one has the bumpy skin I'll see if i can put a picture up of the anona squamosa so there's two types of custard apple here um the seeds very similar i think these are slightly pointed these have got a slight sort of um let me just yeah look different to the, those looked a lot browner and didn't have this point at the end these seem to have a little bit of a point to them so i'm going to get all of these it says to plant them in sterile compost i've got coir which is sterile and get them on the heat mat and fingers crossed i can get them all to germinate and probably to get them through the winter I will need to have a grow light on them because we are sort of the wrong side of the wrong side of the year to you know to be planting but this is you know sometimes you can't get the seeds available in spring you know they're out of stock and then you have to wait till autumn to get the seeds so you know we don't really have a choice when you're, you're buying seeds um, it, it depends what's available and what's in stock so i'll get these planted so what did i want to talk to you about um seed swap or plant swapping obviously i like to grow things myself from seed but sometimes you can't get the seed or um the plants you know if i can get ready-made plants even better but that is also difficult now since Brexit um, back in January. A lot of the um, tropical plant nurseries which are based in the EU are not able to export to the UK or they find it incredibly difficult to export to the UK because of all the paperwork, red tape, etc. And it might be additional costs, it might be too costly for them to do all that. So people like me who like to who buy these plants from these nurseries which tend to be based in the netherlands and um uh, spain etc or italy um can't get them now and so you know i've been on the lookout for some plants um the jujube is one one of these plants on my wish list so i would like to get a jujube i'm also looking for a jackfruit although i did grow one it, it never amounted to much so uh, jujube jackfruit and sapodilla or jackfruit is called katal in bengali um sapote is called shofida um in bengali and jujube is called buroi in bengali so if anybody is growing those um have little plants knocking about in their house uh, and you're based in the UK not Northern Ireland and would be prepared to do a plant swap with me um, or a seed swap I, I'll, tell, I'll show you what I've got to to swap with so up here I've got um, bale fruit Ego marmalus I planted these from seed from a fruit see if I can put a picture up of what the fruit looks like it's called wood apple Got a very hard exterior but inside the fruit is like a, an orangey sticky i think that's probably where the word marmalous marmalade ish texture to it and they're supposedly hardy as well i have grown this before and left them outside in winter and unfortunately died because they were only little seedlings but i think if this was a bit more mature i'd probably wait a year until i left them outside because that's what it said that they are quite hardy um, even though they are grown in a tropical environment so I've got a few there um, I'll probably just keep one or two back for myself but the rest you know I don't need this many and I could swap these for any of those three fruits that I've just mentioned fruit, fruit plants 
you know, I don't want the actual fruit. I would like a plant in exchange. You know, it could be a small seedling like this. I've also got um, citrus, two types of citrus here. This one is the Citrus Medica or Zara Lemon. If you haven't seen the video of the Zara Lemon, do have a scroll through. I did a, an exotic fruit haul from an Asian supermarket. So have a look for that video and you'll see the citrus, very large, knobbly, um, one of the oldest type of citrus. Uh, people say that these are supposedly the parents of modern day uh, lemons, etc. So I've got quite a few of these Zara lemon plantlets. So a, a nice size that they'll be able to ship. I will be able to ship these easily. It won't cost me too much because the plants are quite small and the roots are, you know, forming very well. So I, I don't really want to sort of keep all of these. I don't need them. I've also got quite a lot of seeds of Zara lemon seeds left over. Just see if I've got a packet here. Yeah, so um yeah let me just get the packet yeah i've got about 20 or 30 zara lemon seeds so quite a few in there it was from a very large fruit and it was packed full of seeds so zara lemon very fragrant lemon as well i think it's more grown for its fragrance they use the peel the pith everything um the whole thing is consumed and i think they extract the oil for perfume because it has a wonderful fragrance to it so that's zara lemon or citrus medica and this is adalebu um the botanical name for this is citrus penivisculata that's quite a mouthful um i found that out from um googling adalebu and it came up with a packet of frozen um pieces of adalebu and it had the botanical name underneath and when i googled the botanical name a website a, um, a citrus website oscar tintori uh, based in the eu based in italy had this actual plant growing and they had a picture of it um, but I did do a video on this other level and if you want to have a look at that you'll see the type of lemon it is uh, lemon citrus I'm not sure it when I cut it open it was quite sort of pale inside almost a greeny white and um, it did have a fragrance but I wouldn't say it was um, sorry I didn't say other means ginger in Bengali and that's the name that they would given it so I didn't find it to smell of ginger. It was more medicinal, maybe a clove, eucalyptus -y. It definitely had a, a fragrance to it, but I, I wouldn't say it was quite um, ginger. So this is Citrus Penivisculata, the level. I say I've got quite a few seedlings in there. I don't need to keep all of these. So I would like to swap um if anybody else is growing uh, those or if you just want to swap seeds now i have got i've not brought them with me but i've also got soursop um seeds so i've got quite a few seeds left over so if anybody wants to do a swap with the soursop sweet seeds um for any of those plants that i've just mentioned jackfruit sapodilla uh, or jujube then um you know i'd I, you know i'd love to do that i'll put my messenger down here and then that's where you can contact me if you have got anything to swap and um that's it really that's all i wanted to say so plant swap seed swap if you're interested get in contact and um We'll see if we can get this going. So thank you for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.